Hello, this is the Watch Dog, and welcome back to Fun with Watches. If watches weren't fun, you'd only need one. We have another unboxing video for you. This is the last of the watches I got from the Big Alley Express sale. So I'm looking forward to opening this one. I know exactly what it is. This is not going to be a surprise. Let's start out with the wrist check. I'm wearing my Islander ISL 62. With the Tsunami Wave on the dial, this watch is awesome, and I'll be reviewing this one next. And Grego is wearing my Benyar Milgauss Homage. Grego wanted to wear that Benyar because he hasn't been able to wear it for a while because I had it locked away to test to see if it got magnetized again. He asked me if I had locked it away by encasing it in carbonite. I told him carbonite was way too expensive for the budget of this channel. So I had to use some dry ice I had left over from the last time I ordered Omaha Steaks. Here's the box, so let's go ahead and open her up. This always makes me a little nervous, because if I screw it up, you can't just put it back in the box. I did screw up that one time, and so I had to do an unboxing video where I opened a box I had already opened. That's kind of lame. Okay, let's cut it right here, right down the middle. Okay, let's put away this pocket knife. And we have bubble wrap. I guess I can let Grogo pop some bubbles afterwards. Okay, a box inside of a box, a little cardboard shroud. Once again, I have it upside down. All right, we have a Heimdaller. This is my very first Heimdaller. I'm really looking forward to this. They look like they make some really nice watches. Looks like we got a little styrofoam here, protector. And here it is. The Heimdaller Monster. This is an homage to the Seiko monster. If you haven't figured it out already, it's nicknamed a monster because the indices here look like little teeth. Especially the top one, the 12 o'clock one, looks like double teeth. Let's take off all the plastic and see what it looks like. You feel free to fast forward this if taking off plastic is boring. A lot of reviewers just kind of use the speed up on their editing software. And I think my software does that, but I haven't actually done that yet. But then you wouldn't be able to listen to my interesting commentary while I'm unwrapping this. It's really on there good. Might have to get out the knife. Alright, there's one side. Let's do the other. Don't worry, when I put this together, I'll cut out some of the more boring parts. Okay, let's open the clasp. Wow, nice clasp. Oh, he's so much more difficult to do with a camera right in front of you. Okay. Oops. Can't forget about the case back. They always put some plastic on the case back. Okay. Here it is unwrapped. So let me go ahead and pop it on the wrist. And we'll see what it looks like. Here it is unsized on my seven and a half inch wrist. Looks like I'll have to take a few links out. Yeah, it looks really nice. Let's go ahead and spin the bezel. Everybody loves spinning the bezel. I'll take it off since it's so loose. It's kind of hard to spin the bezel with a loose strap. Bezel action. 
it's kind of tight not easy to spin but that's fine kind of kind of weird the bezel it's kind of hard to get a grip on because it's the same size as the case okay well thank you for watching my unboxing video i'll be back with another review i'll be reviewing that islander i'm wearing right now so i can get it back to mark and coincidentally enough, Mark just released his own line of monster watches. So maybe I can convince Mark to send me one of his monsters and I can do a side-by-side -side comparison. Bye.